Moving on to match number three of Group 4. This will see Ryan Luke face Paniotis Lozis. Again, I know Ryan as a junior. I had the opportunity to do some coaching with him. Um, really, really a fantastic fight as he proved significantly under Terry Daney and Wei Wu. Yeah, what a great job Terry's done there with these fighters. Just brought them on, brought them up. And facing him, Paniotis Luzidis. Yeah, I don't know too much about Paniotis, but I'm sure we're going to find out. He's a Greek international, isn't Greek. he? Greg? Excellent, excellent. Well, the Greeks have got great pedigree. Some great world champions they've had. So if he's from that camp, he's going to be a handful. And again, I, I've mentioned it before, but the spectacular nature of the young fighters here, it's just incredible. Ah, their athleticism is second to none. Their athleticism is... And, and all they can do at these events, especially when they're fighting these senior guys, is to enjoy themselves and unload. They are, they are here primarily to gain that experience and to get a taste of what it's like to fight at senior level. Exactly, that's what they need to be doing. Just find out, get in there, have a fight, have something to talk about. And you never know where it might lead. Hey, I mean, we're polite now, because if you haven't got stories, you haven't fought. And let's be honest, last year it was it was an upset. Joe Kellaway was one of those that was going to get experience. Exactly. However far he got was going to be great. Exactly. And he went through everyone. True, so true, so true, because Joe had his own plan. But watch his distance there, he started that a little bit too far out. Um, Paniotis could really anticipate that attack well and just wasn't there. But again, you can see a, see a significant weight difference here. Significant weight difference. As we've had all night, but again, we've been dumbfounded in the sense that the lighter athletes have breezed through that. The use of technique and timing and movement. So true, Malcolm. So true. It is, it's good to see. It's just good to see the, and to impress upon the public how important it is to see that the weight, cap, the weight differences are quite stark in some respects, but skill can, skill can, can outmatch brawl. Paniotis mm. having to eat that up. A bit he heavy did. in contact there. It was a bit heavy, but... But I must reiterate something you said twice tonight only in four groups have we seen the medics. One unfortunately for a cut, one previously across these whole groups. Just two times have the medics had to get out of their seats. That's incredible. It's Greg. brilliant, especially for the calibre and the level of this, of this competition. And the passion. Yeah, very much so. It just shows the quality, uh, the quality of the fighters and just how good they are at what, they're, at what they do. Tremendous to see. He's recovered well from that. That was quite a hard knock there, almost forearmed. Well, as we mentioned, Greg, that's the other part of the skill here because we have seen Karataka translate their skills to K1 and full contact arts and stop people. Leon Waters, I saw him in K1 and his kicking was all karate but when he landed it with no desire to pull it oh it was it was phenomenal it really was and um, it just showed the skill set it's only a, it's only an inch that you're controlling it the difference but you let that extra inch go and it, it can quite easily knock your opponent out and a classic example of that is um is uh, Lyoto machida um in the ufc who for for his first 13 or 14 fights was just doing classic karate competition fighting and with time in and target and was completely dumbfounded all these opponents so there is a place for it across all combat sports that's a good good technique there but the skill here is in not landing with that level of contact so one more thing you've got to think about for these athletes one more pressure for them exactly but that's the skill that's the training if they can't do that they would not be at this level. They need to have developed that skill and ability. That's good. Paniotis, he's hard to nail down, isn't he? He is, he is. I'm yet to see something to make me really think that um, he's going to go much further than this or the next round. But nevertheless, he's certainly a canny fighter. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's, uh, he's, 
he knows his way around the map. That was the phrase I was looking for, Greg. You know with some people, um, they're going to make it really difficult for you. Yes, very much so. Don't know if they're going to score that. Well, they've cleared they've scored it. Good, good. Just that he went on one knee after the technique, so they, um, they could quite easily have said that there wasn't enough form in that technique. Now we'll have to see what Paniotis does coming forward. He's been happy to fight on the back foot and to move and to wait for Ryan Luke to come in. We'll, we'll see if this changes. Now, no, that was it. Right at the death there. And Greg. the right of fight and winning again, Malcolm. Well done, Ryan.